Hey, Lee Robinson here in American Sentinel Canine. It's March of 2021. Just doing an annual yard tour. It's been a while since we've updated our yard tour. And so we have 27 dogs right now, and we actually have five litters on the ground, which is unusually high. All the females that we wanted to breed in the first half of 2021 came into heat within a month of each other. So it's been pretty busy here lately, and I haven't been maintaining my YouTube channel as well as I would like to lately. But uh, we're gonna do a yard tour, and hopefully that will help our viewers get an understanding of what's going on here this year. We have four American Pitbull Terriers and 23 American Sentinels. Plus we have uh, about 20 puppies on the ground. So uh, we have a full yard with many mouths to feed right now. But this dog is not for sale. Her name is Betty Crocker. She's one of our Sorrells American Pitbull Terriers, even though she's black. Sorrells dogs usually are not black. They're usually, they're usually a red or buckskin colored dog. But she had an outcross in her with a black dog. And even though she's an outcross, we actually took that do those dogs back to Sorrells blood. But my favorite one in the litter happened to be black, even though I prefer the red. Because I'm not breeding for color, I'm breeding for uh, performance working ability. And this young girl, Black Betty, is about 13 months old. And she's showing me everything that I want to see in a female dog for her age. She's about 51, 52 pounds. Really high prey driven dog. And is displaying perfectly for what I want to see for her age especially. She's got a nice scissor bite. Uh, she, her sire is Bulletproof's Frankie Bomp, which we own, and her mother is Bulletproof's Suki, which we bought from Madison Parker, which is Bulletproof Kennels. And uh, we did that breeding, and after we did the breeding, we evaluated the puppies, and I was really looking for the, the top female, and, and she's just really stood out to me. I really, really like her a lot, and I think that she'll play a... a a role in the future of our, our programs, whether it be our Pitbull program or our American Sentinel program. Um, young girl, 13 months old. Uh, we ended up selling Suki, but uh, I love this bitch. She's really nice. She's got a little collar rash, because we had a collar on her and got a little tight, but nothing, nothing major. Sure, we'll stand up like that. We'll walk her back. So that's Black Betty, ASC's Black Betty. All right, next we have Vlad, Vlad the Impaler, ASC's Vlad. He is out of ASC's Preacher Man and Wildling. Wildling was, was also called Wild Thing. Wild Thing was a Red Boy Jocko G, Cottingham Crenshaw bred dog. Uh, of course, Preacher Man was one of our American Sentinels. And we bred Preacher Man back to Wild Thing to kind of tighten up the physique a little bit and Vlad the Impaler. He's not a real big dog, he's only about 80 pounds maybe, but he's very explosive. He's got good defense and really good prey. His one fault would be he's a little bit handler sensitive, but when it comes to uh, uh, prey drive and defensive work, very explosive dog. Can jump amazingly quick when he goes to strike. It's amazing how fast this dog is. Flat is about five years old. He's got a brother named Dozer that uh, is a hog catch slamming dog. <clears throat> in Texas. This is Mystique. Back up and kneel down. Alright, so Mystique. Alright, so Mystique is out of uh, Reptar and Halo. Halo is one of our top producing females. Uh, Halo has produced a number of great dogs for us. Mystique is about two and a half years old, I think. And uh, she's got great athleticism and really good play drive. And she's kind of an alpha bitch, even though she's submissive with me. She's, she doesn't tolerate any nonsense. She works good. We haven't done a lot of work, but what we've done, uh, she's done really well. Get another quick look at her. Reptar and Halo. Okay. Now, this is Balboa. Balboa is only like six months old. Moves great. He is out of Wrecker and Betty Crocker. We're going to move on. We're going to go in this kennel. This is Jazz. Hey Jazz. Hey Jazz. Come on. Jazz. I want to say hello to Connor. Hey Jazz. Good girl. Oh yeah. Jazz has got a super soft coat. She's a blue brindle. 
She does not get blue from pit bull because we never used a blue pit. Come on, girl. She gets it from the Neo blood that's in, the, in our program, which goes back to Achilles and also to Levi. She is out of ASC's Justice and ASC's Storm. Good girl, yeah. Good, good girl, sweetheart. Uh, very civil dog, high prey response, a lot of fight instinct. Not a whole lot of defensive response, just more real extreme civil aggression. Um, something serious for sure, very serious dog. But she's a sweetheart when it comes to the family. Loves me to death, don't you girl? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. All right, so that's Jazz. She's about three and a half years old, I guess, maybe. Something like that. Need to make sure I put these clips in back. Back in. All right, here we have Phoenix. Phoenix is double bred on Tiggy. She is out of Reptar and Betty Crocker. These pups are out of Rebel and Phoenix. We'll go over here so y'all can see Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix. She's double bred on Tiggy. Tiggy is Justice's sister, Valkyrie's sister. Tiggy, Justice, Preacher Girl. <laughs> Um, Tiggy, Justice, Valkyrie, Preacher Girl, Lucy, they're all out of uh, Preacher Man and Blue Jean. So this dog is actually double bred on Tiggy. Her sire is Reptar, who's Wrecker and Tiggy, and her mother is Betty Crocker, who's Stone Cold and Tiggy. Phoenix is a tremendous athlete with nice, nice prey drive. We have not done a lot of work with her, but she has shown really good instincts. And I think she would do really well should I put more work in it. It's been difficult to train this last year with the COVID restrictions and travel. But we'll make up for it. Hey, Next, we have our boy, Reptar. Hey, boy. You the female dog right now? There you go. You take the camera. Be careful how you hold it. Good buddy. Reptar's about 110, maybe 115 pounds. He's an absolute goofball. Sit. Sit. Our house dog, but we haven't been the care for the video. Good boy. He is out of record and Tiggy. Go ahead. He's a real good producer as well. He's got excellent hips. All right, we got Onyx up here. Next. Uh, hey, Onyx. Onyx is out of Justice and Widow. Widow is actually Reptar's sister, so this is Reptar's niece. And these pups are out of Reptar and Onyx. So this is an uncle, excuse me, yeah, this is an uncle niece breeding. Um, Onyx has a lot of civil, civil aggression, high prey drive. She's got some good defense as well. She's a great family dog as well. Just balances in every way, pretty much perfect uh, for a serious protection dog. We, we've really been happy with Onyx, and she's done well for us. She's the uh, mother of one of my favorite young females right now. Of course, uh, a lot of the females don't look real good because they've just had pups, but that's the way it is when, when you have planned breedings and they all come in at the same heat, or all come in heat at the same time, you either have to step up and get it done or postpone your plans and I didn't want to postpone my plans so we just kept moving forward anyway that's ASC's on it be a little noisy so we'll stay back here for a minute and I talk, try and talk about it. Um, that's Halo on the kennel or on the dog house and then these pups are out of justice in Halo so these are scratches younger siblings and Bumper's younger siblings and Elsa's younger siblings we'll talk about scratch Bumper and Elsa a little bit later Let's get a little look at, uh, at Halo. One of my best producing females right here. 
Halo is out of Little Rascal and Valkyrie. And she has really produced really well for us. Let's go ahead and come over here. I'm going to say that again. Halo has produced really well for us. She's out of Little Rascal, who's a Red Boy Jocko Jeep dog. Maybe on the Barracuda stuff. Um, Mayday stuff. Which has, of course, got the bolio blood in it, too, from Pat Patrick. And then uh, her mother is Valkyrie, which is Justice's sister. That Preacher Man Blue Jean comp combination. It works really well for us. Back up and let me talk about the kennel here real quick. So we got two latches on the each end of the kennel on a on a gate panel. Just to provide Hey, knock it off. Just to provide more security of the aisle. Show the aisle. So you can see we got every kennel has two latches. And then the, the ends have two latches. And then we also on each kennel we have a clip. And these are nine gauge chain link fence. And if you look at the bottom, every single link is tied. People have uh, chain link kennels and they have problems with them because usually they're tied with aluminum about once every three or four. This is every link tied with steel. So we don't have any problems with the dogs uh, tearing up the kennels. The pipe is actually 40 gauge. This is all heavy, heavy duty. The roof is 20 gauge concrete decking. So this is like Fort Knox when it comes to security. And we have tops on the on the kennels even look like welded wire in the backside where the sun's exposed. So this is Scratch. He's one of my favorite young males. Um, this is the direction we're headed. Um, he's a little bit smaller than I would like. His brother's a little bit bigger than him, but just a super high drive dog. He'll do everything. I mean, this dog will do everything. Uh, he's called Scratch because he will go into any type of competition, whether it be a hog or protection work, he's just, he's all about going forward. Okay, and this is his uh, grandmother, Valkyrie. Valkyrie is Justice's sister. She is a preacher man blue jean dog. All right, next, this dog here is named Nova. And Nova is out of Frankie Bomp and Onyx. Um, super athletic, a little small, maybe, maybe only seven months old. Super athletic. Actually, I think she's seven months old, that's right. Hey, hey, she's super athletic, and she's got a lot of pit bull blood in her, so she's not gonna be real big. We'll see how that goes in the future. Okay, uh, this is Four Socks. Back up and kneel down. Four Socks is a, out of, a daughter of Wrecker, and uh, her mother is Mystique. Mother is Mystique, so she's actually double bred on Wrecker because Mystique is a, a granddaughter. A granddaughter. Hey, shut up. Mystique is a granddaughter of Wrecker, so it was a grandfather granddaughter breeding. Because uh, Mystique's sire is Reptar, and Reptar's out of Wrecker. So this female right here, Wrecker and Mystique, is a heavy dose of Wrecker blood, and that's why she's so big even though she has such a high percentage of game, of game blood in her. Very powerful dog. She actually is pushing about 95 pounds. Valkyrie's another real big female, about 100 and 105, okay? Next, we have Lucky Seven. Lucky Seven is a Red Boy Jocko, Red Boy Jocko Jeep dog, Cottingham and Crenshaw. Red Boy Jocko, hey girl, fun. Lucky Seven is Red Boy Jocko Jeep with some Cottingham and Crenshaw. He's about, Four years old, I'm guessing. He's got real good uh, athleticism and excellent hips. Uh, he displays what a, what a game dog should. We'll move on. That's AFC's Lucky Seven. He was born here. This is one of my favorite females. Should have been going in these kennels a little bit so y'all can see the dogs. This is um, Lady Smith, really nice female. Back up a little bit. Super athletic, really good nurse, really good prey drive. This is going to be an awesome dog. Oh, good. No 
collar on her, so that would have made it easier. She is out of scratch and on it. I really like this female a lot. High expectations of Lady Smith. She's only 14 months old. One of my favorite young females. All right, this is ACOG. ACOG is also a daughter of Frankie Ball. And his, his mother, or her mother, is uh, Rogue. Rogue was out of Yellow, the Kovu. And Yellow is, of course, Wrecker's sister. This is Bumper. The public doesn't really know about Bumper yet. He's one of my favorite young males. This is Scratch's younger brother, but he's a little bigger than Scratch. Personable, really, a, really a good dog in every regard. He's got a nice rear quarter on him. He's very athletic and very intense. Hey, let me get her some water. What? <laughs> this is Elsa. I'm not really sure who she's out of, but she's a nice dog. Just Halo. Just as Halo. She is only nine months old. So this is Elsa. She's a young girl, only nine months old, and she's one of our smallest females. Of course, she's not done growing over in only nine months, eight or nine months. We had a lot of females, or a lot of uh, pups also about eight months ago, so she's maybe only eight months. Elsa is, uh, she's like I said, one of our smaller females, but I'm okay with it. Her intensity is great. This is going to be a good dog for my wife to uh, try to work with, even though her intensity is high, because she's not uh, too big. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter dog, easier for the handler. Intensity is super great, just like Scratch and Bumper. Okay, now this is Komodo. Komodo is one of our game dogs. She's also, she's Lucky Seven's daughter, and she is tightly bred female out of Lucky Seven and his sister, Wonder Girl. You want me to come in? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Or you can just stand there with open the door. Come on, come on. He's on it. Come on, girl. She's a small dog. You know, she's not small for a pit bull. She's probably about 45 pounds, 48 pounds. She has been 50 before, but she's running light right now. A little bit too lean. We need to put a little more weight on her. She should be close to 50 pounds, but right now she's only about 46, 45 pounds. Uh, she's heavily bred on the Red Boy Jocelyn G, Cottingham Crenshaw. And being out of the, uh, heavily on the Mayday actually. So when I say Red Boy Jocelyn G, they're really heavy on Mayday, which includes the Bolio blood from Pat Patrick. And Pat Patrick's Bolio blood is also very similar to the Sorrell's blood. So when you have a Mayday blood dog, which is Red Boy Jocko Jeep and Bolio, and you have Sorrell's dog, that combination tends to work pretty well because Sorrell's crosses well with Red Boy blood, and of course so did the Bolio because Red Boy, excuse me, because the Bolio blood and the Sorrell's blood is almost the same blood. They both go back to Zeke Goldie. And since the Sorrell works well with Red Boy Jocko, and the Bolio works well with Red Boy Jocko, and so does the Greenwood Blood, which also is the Zeke Goldie combination. All right, this, come here, girl. This is Ebony. Ebony is out of Frankie Bomp and Pele. She's a short, thick dog. She's nine months old, eight months old. 
Prey-driven dog, um, and she she shows good protective instincts. So if you come in here at night, and even though she's only eight or nine months, she good she does give a good alert response. Just look how beautiful Lady Smith is. Get down, get over here, and get lower. Go down, with the camera. That's Lady Smith. What a beautiful dog. All right. Here we have uh, Machete. Machete is out of Justice and Betty Crocker. And of course, Betty Crocker was the Stone Cold Tiggy combination. Uh, we, went, we have been waiting for her to come back in heat. We've been wanting to breed her to Reptar. But she is about maybe just two and a half. She did have one heat cycle, but I've only seen her in heat once. So we're waiting for Machete to come in heat again because we'd like to breed her to Reptar. She's never been bred. Very powerful female. She's a sibling to Split, ASC Split. Okay, here's Justice. Justice is our old man of the yard. He's our, mate, our patriarch right now. Of course, Preacher is our, our true patriarch. Come here, Justice. Good boy. Uh, preacher man, his uh, father is the true patriarch of our family, but of course, uh, Preacher man's gone. Uh, you know, he passed away a week before 13. And Justice is now about eight years old, eight and a half. But he's still doing really good. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go on out. He's our top producing stud. As far as the quality of the offspring goes. Go ahead. We tried to keep him lean lately. He got a little fat for a while, so I've been leaning him up. I want to keep him healthy. I would like to see him live a long time. All right, this is Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker's mother, Tiggy, was Connor's uh, dog, but unfortunately she got an infection from the ground called nocardia. Come on in, Connor. Nocardia is a bacteria that lives in the dirt. And unfortunately, that's what cost uh, us the life of her mother. This is Betty Crocker. Hey, Betty. Betty has been a good producer for us. Had some really nice pups out of her. Back up and get lower. Hey, girl. She's had some really nice pups for us. Hey, Betty Crack. So she's had some real good pups for us. Uh, her only problem is she's not the best mother. Good producer, but not the best mother. She gets a little rough with the pups. Super thick dog. She's got a lot of game blood in her. And even though her mother uh, was out of preacher in blue jean, just like Justice, super intense. All right, this is Cobalt. Cobalt is uh, Ebony's brother. She, he is out of Bulletproof's Frankie Bomb, bred to uh, Midgard's Pele. We uh, rented Midgard's Pele from Midgard. <laughs> He's only eight or nine months. He's only eight or nine months as well. And super high prey drive. I'm seeing good uh, intensity out of him as well. I have some nice expectations for Cobalt. Okay. He's a thick little pup. Or thick big pup. Isn't that right, Cobalt? He's a beautiful specimen. Absolutely beautiful dog. Go ahead and get out. ASC's Cobalt. This is uh, Patches. Patches is Four Socks' sister. Hey, Patches. Hey, Patches. Patches is a big girl like her sister. Four Socks is a little bigger than Patches, but Patches is still a big girl, and she loves me. 
this is an athlete right here. An extreme athlete. Now, Four Socks is a little bit better dog than Patches. Four Socks has more prey drive. Four Socks has more size. Four Socks has more confidence. But uh, this dog loves me and is a great athlete. And she's got some uh, good, good defensive instincts as well. She can't even get a good picture of her because she wants to get some love on me. Hey, Patches, what you doing, girl? What you doing, girl? You love me, don't you? You love me, don't you? All right, that's Patches. So my, my dogs are all real happy, and they love the family, and that's what we want. I need to go in the kennel with the scratch, let me see scratch. Maybe even with the operation. We're going to do that. Dog. He's got nice tight physique. Hey. Easy, buddy. No humping. Nice tight physique. One thing is kind of funny, I don't know if he'll do it on camera, is he'll bump you with his nose. Him and Bumper both do that. He doesn't like when I'm spraying out the kennel, he'll come up and just poke me with his nose. Just a bump. It's kind of funny. I'm going out. This is ASC's Scratch. This is Valkyrie. I'm going to show Valkyrie. Come here, Val. Good girl. Good girl. This is Justice's younger sister. Good girl. Good girl. This is uh, our biggest female that I have. Keaton's got a female that's a little bit bigger, Ro. Well, maybe. I'm not sure. Probably. She's getting a little up there in age. She's about seven and a half. Justice is about eight and a half. That's Valkyrie. There's a video of her working when she was as young as eight weeks, 16 weeks, and stuff like that. Valkyrie has done both protection work and she's caught hogs. She as big as she is, she's actually caught some hogs in her younger days. Real athlete. All right, this is Widow, ASC's Widow. Widow is Reptar's sister. She is out of uh, Wrecker and Tiggy. She is the mother of Onyx. Very good protection dog. Hey. And here we have Frankie Bomb, Bulletproof Frankie Bomb. This is a heavy Sorrells male. He's been a real good dog for us. Uh, we've had him in the house. He's good, good in the house. He's been a good breeder for us. He represents the Sorrells blood really, really, really well. He's exactly what you would want from a Sorrells, Sorrells dog. He's good with me, real good with me, like all my dogs. All my dogs are real good with me, and yet uh, his fight drives and prey drives are outstanding. He's about five and a half years old, and he's 56 pounds, uh, 58 pounds on the chain. His condition weight's about 49, 50, 51 pounds, right around 50 pounds. Lucky seven's about six pounds to eight pounds bigger uh, lucky seven chain weight kennel weight it's about 65 to 70 pounds he gets he fluctuates a little bit 66 to 70 pounds 70 pounds he's fat uh, 65 66 pounds lucky seven's in good shape uh, lucky seven's condition weight would be about 58 so lucky seven's condition weight is about nine pounds more than Frankie Bob. anyway that's march of 2021 i hope y'all enjoyed enjoyed the tour and have a blessed day.